YouTube family, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. I'm actually uploading a video right now and it's the last video, so you need to go check that out. I kind of talked about um, dealerships and car markets and stuff like that. But anyways, today we're doing some stuff with the game room and uh, I know I haven't did like a review of the game room in a while, but one thing, if you don't notice, is that it's kind of bare, like the walls are kind of bare. So you gotta know, I got the new desk, link above to watch that. But since I switched this new desk, there's a lot more wiring you can see here. Like even with the racing sim, you know, there's just wires everywhere. What the game plan is, is today I want to pick up some floating shelves and I want to pick up some, um, I want to pick up some, uh, like a uh, wire wrap, some, you know, like, uh, you know, like you wrap wires around to kind of keep them a little more organized. So, you know, the wires can be all in one place and it'd be nice and neat. And I want some white ones too, to kind of go with the with the setup the reason why i really want floating shelves is so this is shelves area and i want to give her more space the wireless wider i can't what the heck am i talking about the wireless router and the modem is sitting on her desk and i was thinking about getting a floating shelf behind here and maybe they can just sit behind there and be out the way so you don't see them or maybe i may have them sitting up higher above her desk or maybe i may have it like over i don't know i have to figure that out and for the PS5, I actually want to get, I have to order it. I want to get one of those mounts. Have you seen those mounts where the PS5 is like on the wall? So I was thinking about having the PS5 just mounted, maybe down here, like floating against here, or the PS5 could just be, I don't want it to be high up. It don't make sense. I haven't figured out why I want everything. And then I was thinking about getting more than one shelf, you know, maybe have a shelf right here in this middle part and one for the wireless router and stuff. But we gotta do some shopping and figure out what we're gonna do. The plan in mind, I just don't know how I'm gonna execute it. But yeah, I was thinking about maybe have a shelf up here, have maybe a shelf up here or maybe behind the screen and then have the PS5 mounted down there somewhere and then have the wire uh, thing, um, the wire sleeves or whatever, fix it down there because that looks, this looks like a load of barnacles. This is a load of barnacles. But it looks crazy down there. The setup is like it works. Like it's very the space I have up here now, like with the laptop now I can edit there and A1. Um the computer still won't sit up here. I want this to have like its own thing too. Oh, you know what? I could probably maybe I could have one of those floating shelves for the PC. This no, but I kinda want the PC kinda out you see it out. Um I don't know. I'm gonna figure out I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do. But yeah, that's what we're gonna do today. So uh, we made it to Best Buy. We're gonna go pick up the um the wire organizer. Hopefully they have it. I'm gonna run to the bathroom first though, before anything. Best Buy and Best Buy did not have nada what we're looking for. We're gonna head to Home Depot, see if they got the shelves. And uh, I do need some compressed air, so they should at least have that. And I guess we do wire organizing another day or another video or I don't know. We gotta we gotta figure that part out, but we're off to Home Depot. It's mad brick outside. So so cold. I don't think I've wore a hood all year till today. Mad cold. We came from Santa Fe and it was snowing. And we come to Albuquerque and it's like clear but cold. So we out. Alright, we made it to Home Depot. If they don't have the shelves in here, I'm gonna slap somebody. I'm gonna just go to a random coworker and slap fire out of it. Like, where the shelves at? All right, we found the right aisle. See, I don't even know what type I want to go for. I, I mean, I was thinking of white. Look how, but look how uh, the width of these things. Uh, this thing was mad long. How long that thing is? They don't have anything that's like a set. The gray is pretty too. Yeah, you know, go good with the in the game room. I think the white will be best for the green one, but I'm looking to see. Like, you see how they have like these little sets? Yeah. Like, look, like. Corner shelf. Don't, don't need oh, a corner. decorative shelf. Look. But is this a? This is one. Look. Twenty-four inch. Oh, but I, this and probably then, be perfect for the. Uh, look, this is a shelf kit. I think this would be perfect for like the what's gonna call it the the wireless router and the thing that's on your desk, like for this thing, mm -hmm. and. Uh, well, like I said, I'm gonna do a separate thing for the PS5, but I do want it more than one shelf, but I guess this, this comes with, this is one, right? Yeah. You could always get that one and see how it is and then get 
Yeah, because look, like, look how big it is. I wonder if I need it like like longer. What are you gonna put on? The the wireless router and the um I know Trace though. Because it's like the only this is like the only white one, I think. And this Cause this one's long, but look how long it is. Oh that's mad. Yeah, that's mad long. I think this would be fine. I think this would be fine. We'll just try and we can always yeah. go up more. Because this is 36, this is 24, this is 18. So yeah. I think 18 would be good. 18, yeah. Include the template, quick hanging feature. Okay. All right, now we need to get some compressed air. All right, son, just put us on where the um the air is. So we, we definitely need one of these. This comes in handy cleaning keyboards and stuff like that. And actually, a keyboard cleaner with a brush would be cool too, but I think this will do for right now. Made it back in the crib so I didn't even tell you guys, uh, me and Shelly actually went to Santa Fe because she had an allergy appointment and she had to do some testing for some allergies, and yada, yada, yada. So it was like an hour drive out there. Anyways, took a quick L. Um, I didn't realize that. I forgot that it's like a week and a half from Christmas. Everyone's outside shopping. You can't find nothing in person. And we didn't get... Um, I mean, I was thinking about getting more than one shelves. Sun is setting right now, so I don't have the best lighting right now. But you guys saw that with the Home Depot, and I uh, got one shelf. I think that one shelf is just going to be for these two things. Um, I was thinking about getting another shelf, but I really want the PS5 to have its own little mountain bracket thing. So there's a thing called uh, Hide It, or something like that, specifically for PS5 and consoles, whatever. I'm going to order that thing, and then when it comes in, I'll put this sh yeah, yeah, I'll put the shelf up. Actually, I don't, I don't even know what I'm gonna do this video. Either I'm gonna put the shelf up, wait for this the PS5 thing to come in and then install it and close the video out, or I may just not do nothing till the new PS5 thing come in, we do both. I think we're gonna do that. So we're gonna pause this video and probably pick it back up once I get the PS5 thing. But at least we got, um, I got a condensed air thing because I really needed that. And I, right now I'm vlogging without the, the vlog kit, without the, um, I remember the little thing, the little handheld thing that I usually use with this. And I'm using, the beginning of the video, I was using the Rode microphone. Now I'm using the internal microphone. And I believe the internal microphone is actually probably turned out too low. I gotta see. When I go back and edit, I'll see what's going on. But I'm actually missing vlogging like this where I don't need to use a vlog stick. I can just put this back in my pocket. You know, the big microphone is out of the way, the little handheld is out of the way. I can just throw in my pocket. But um, yeah, so we're gonna, we're gonna pause everything here. And then once everything comes in, I still gotta get the wire, th uh, the wire organizers too. Then we'll continue uh, cleaning this thing up. What I am gonna do is play some COD, um, and I'll probably record um, some car meets or whatever for Team Uni Gaming because I haven't uploaded a video on that channel in mad long. I've been busy with this channel, but we're we gonna get back right into it. But um, to help with this wiring up here, eventually though, I'm gonna go to. A Bluetooth keyboard, Bluetooth mouse, just to help out with this wiring here. But not yet, that's down the road. I don't need keyboards and mouse. I'm trying to get stuff that I need first. And then I do need a, another draw. I may get a matching uh, Husky rolling draw to match the desk to have in here. But if I do that, where am I gonna put that one? And where's this thing gonna go? I don't know. But all right, so next day, and what I've decided on doing is we're gonna go ahead and just install the shelf by itself. And then once the other stuff come in, we'll make a separate video for that. You guys saw that we picked up the blah, 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 blah there and this thing there. So the spray is just for clean. I just need one of these just to clean the keyboards and my, my desk and all that stuff. But this guy right here, let's go ahead and get this thing installed. So this thing is 18 inches. And what is this? 1.25 inches height, 17.75 width and 7.7 inches deep. Okay. And it's supposed to be a flowing style like this guy. I saw some good reviews on there. It was a little bit of a cheaper side, so quality may not be 100% A1, but we'll check it out. Like I said, I got some Home Depot. And look like they include the uh, template and the, uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so let's open this thing up and get some to figure out where I'm gonna put this thing. Oh, I see how that work. So yeah, so pretty much you nail this to the wall and then you slide in and I guess that's it. This ain't no simple. The instructions is literally, oh damn. Whoa, what's going on here? Who packed this? <laughs> they have the thing tucked in there. Get over behind instructions I have now. 
so um there's literally or there's option one and option two. Oh, okay you can either use a temp the drilling template or you could just put it on a wall then we're gonna put it on a wall get a pencil mark one and drill and then just make the holes all right so i went to go get my drill and i got my drill bits and uh here's the little anchor not the anchor but the little i guess the piece that the shelf slides into the kit comes with um nails screws nails, and some anchors so i guess these come in handy if you don't have any studs behind the drywall and you put the anchors in and if you do have studs then you don't need those you just have the nails so the kit doesn't come with a leveler i have no idea what they're thinking with that but i have my own so we're gonna use that let's actually just figure out where we're gonna put this thing it does feel kind of flimsy i mean like i said it's cheap so whatever for right now these two are going to be the ones that are sitting on here and the max weight that this can hold is uh, 20 pounds so these two together oh yeah they, they, they're probably not even a pound together or they're probably at least first of all let's just take a look at this thing before i even install it um there's some imperfections like i see there's like a little lump in there it's like a little hole in there we got some of this stuff on the side here we got some stuff on the court this thing is not perfect but whatever we just want to clean this up all right, if i do put it behind the gaming rig here the racing sim i will have to move it up a little bit I think it would be cool kind of sitting behind this thing out the way. I don't want to be high up. It don't need to be high up in the air. That doesn't make sense. I right, moved up the racing sim a little bit. And yeah, it's going to sit right behind the monitor. So I'm going to go and bolt it up. I may skip the installation part of it, all that boring stuff. I'm going to like level it and make sure it all works. And what's annoying is it's going to get all dirty. I'm going to have to get behind there. But I think, yeah, this is going to sit behind the monitor. I moved it up a little bit so you can see. Um, where it is. This is the last clip I changed my mind about like 50 million times. I, I was like, you know what? It's not gonna work. I don't like how it looks. I don't feel like measuring, yada yada. Anyway, this is the outcome. This is how it came out. I end up just putting it right behind the monitor. The shelf is okay. I still gotta do wiring because it looks crazy back there. But I think I'm gonna wait on the wiring till my sleeve come in. Pretty much one of the main things I've been waiting on. Um, since I moved the modem from here to there, my coax cable actually wasn't long enough to go around this. I ran into an issue where this coax cable, this white one, was too short and then it was kind of like pulling on the thing. So I had to go get a splitter and, you know, splice another one in there. Not splice, but, you know, connect another one. Um, I don't really need a splitter, so I'm probably going to get a longer coax cable. That way, just one shot, there's no stopping to get to there. But at least I have internet for right now, that'll work. But as far as the shelf, like I said, you can see it's not too uh, it's not too deep, but it it works. And if you sit in here, you can't see anything. Like if I had to already put the camera up high for you to see the antenna, but you can't see anything. I mean, you see the wiring behind it, but you don't see anything. So now Shelly can use more space. Oh, well, now she uses her whole desk now. She don't have to worry about having all that craziness right there. But the setup it does look cool. I mean, it looks different, looks organized, but. It still looks messy. Then again, I might come on YouTube and show you guys my setup to tell you that it's perfect or anything like that. Cause that's not, that's never gonna be the case. I know some people, some people sell. You've seen where they have it. They have like shelves everywhere and neon lights and all types of craziness like that. And I want a decent setup, but I want an efficient setup. I just want a setup that'll work. You guys know I record a lot of videos. I edit a lot of videos. Especially on my game. Actually, I haven't been recording nothing on my gaming channel, but we're actually going to do that today. We're recording some videos because it's been so long. So when the PS5 uh, thing comes in, like I said, it's going to be a separate video for that. I think I'm going to have it kind of like down here, like maybe like right against this wall, you know, like, like it's just going to be just flat against the wall like that. Or maybe it might be right here, actually. I don't know. Once that comes in, I have to figure that out. But I am going to keep a thousand though. I didn't even like... Like I did like a quick measurement and I just drilled the thing into the wall. I didn't even like, well, I used a leveler to make sure it's leveled, but I didn't make sure it was like centered or like, like, let me show you what I'm talking about. Like you see how it's more to the left and that it's not more to the right over here. Like I kind of don't even care. Once I realized it's going to sit behind here, I was just like, whatever. But I do want to get more shelves though. Um, I don't think I'm going to get that shelf again though. That the material, just the quality of it is like very cheap in my opinion. I don't know. 
Um, I think I'm gonna do a different one, but I still want to do stuff like you know, like put a shelf up there and have some shelves up there, and then like hang up stuff like cars, you know, like like die cast cars or like have more posters or like maybe some action figures. Some I don't know. I want to make it here more gamey. Um, the floor definitely on the floor. I want to add a rug. That's I don't know what yet, but I want to add a rug right in the middle of the floor. And I want to add another desk, like an unboxing desk. That way I'm not doing it like downstairs or, you know, like on my chair or whatever. I mean, I'm going to make it work. At the end of the day, I'm not a professional. I, I don't try to pretend to be a professional, nor I don't want to be a professional because it's impossible. You know, like, I feel like I know more about like newer cars than uh, gaming stuff or stuff like this. Like all this stuff here. I set up, I did it myself using the internet, you know, like I, I didn't really, like obviously I went to school for IT and stuff like that, but um, I did have, I do have a little one up than the average person I would say, but um, everything here, you know, like I kind of just, all the stuff here, I just brainstormed and kind of had a vision and I was like, whatever, and put it together, you know, like. Like even building this thing here, that's, you know, it's not the hardest thing in the world, but um, I'm proud that I, I put that together, you know? Cause I know a lot of people, they wouldn't make a video on YouTube or putting out there unless it's perfect. There's no wiring showing. There's no, like I told you guys how I just slapped the thing behind there. You know, a lot of people like to hide that stuff on videos and I'm kind of like, I'm, I'm a little bit more realistic, you know? Like, I don't know, like I'm not trying to like make things seem like it, it's not, if that makes sense. I kind of just go forward what I do and, you know, if it looks ghetto, it looks ghetto, you know, like, uh, it is what it is. I, I have fun making these videos. So that's pretty much it. The shelf is on there. Um, I wait for the rest of the stuff and we make another video on that, obviously. So another update to the game room. I know a lot of you guys uh, message me and following the build and I actually appreciate that because obviously this is a lot better than you know a lot of builds out there but i still don't think i have the best build in the world you know to me this is like whatever because this is not like where i want it to end you know like i have a lot it's a lot more to go in this room but um a lot of you guys you know say that i kind of help you i guess give you the motivation to get a, a computer build or want to start a, a something like this you know racing something and computer or something whatever that does make me feel good that even though i don't think that this is crazy some people look at it like yo that's the craziest thing i've ever seen you know like they always say that someone always want what you don't want you know like even though i think that it's not the greatest someone is like nah like, you know they wish they had that you know they can't even get a computer you know so i, I appreciate it but we have so much more to come um I know I'm just, I'm just talking to the camera, I'm babbling right now, but thank you guys for watching. I'm and everything here and stay tuned for the next video. We're going to get this thing off of this thing because this looks crazy. Get this thing on the wall and uh, we're going to clean this up. So hopefully by the next video, everything comes in, we can do that. And then I'll catch you guys in the next video.